As the NFL returns this weekend, teams will be quietly confident that they can make a solid run at the Super Bowl. And the highly fancied Buffalo Bills will be amongst them, who have this week taken the unusual step of naming more captains than we usually see. Today we're discussing the Bills' chances as they name nine captains for their charge towards the Super Bowl this season. Stay with us. Let's jump straight in then. What's going on over in upstate New York? Well, as you may or may not know, NFL rules actually actually state that no one team can have more than six captains on their roster. However, we also know that these rules are rarely, if ever, enforced. A few years back, in 2019, four teams named no fewer than seven captains going into the start of that particular season. The Detroit Lions, Minnesota Vikings, New England Patriots, and New York Giants. But nine captains is somewhat unprecedented. QB Josh Allen will take the offense captaincy for the fourth season in a row, showing the Bills are trying to instill a touch of stability to the team. With Stephon Diggs at wide receiver retaining his captaincy role, Mitch Morse has also been added to the role. So it will be interesting to see how he steps up to his newfound responsibility for the first time. Linebacker Tremaine Edmonds will retain in the captaincy role on defense for his fourth year in a row. And so too will safety Jordan Poyer, formerly on the books of the Cleveland Browns for his third year straight. They will be joined by Mika Hyde, who will be playing his part as captain in back-to-back -back season for the first time. Outside linebacker Von Miller will be the fourth defensive captain, which is a pretty big call considering he has only just joined the New York outfit. What do you guys make of the Bills' captaincy announcements? Let us know below. Next up, Emmanuel Sanders has explained his retirement. Stay tuned. Sanders called time on his NFL career earlier this week after playing a solitary season with the Buffalo Bills. The former Steelers, Broncos, 49ers, and Saints wide receiver managed to win the Super Bowl during his time in Denver and has spoken of his gratitude towards the game that gave him everything. Sanders was in good form last season, catching 42 passes for 626 yards. So some Bills fans spoke of their surprise upon his announcement. However, he had been talking about retirement for some time, and considering the fact he has played 12 seasons in the NFL, it's safe to say he paid his dues. He said this week, I've got my son, he's getting older, I've got a daughter getting older, and for the past three years, I've been traveling and moving from team to team, trying to win a Super Bowl, which he managed to do back in 2016. Whilst admitting that he now has some reflecting to do, he went on to say, I gave it my all, which no one can question him on. The two-time Pro Bowl winner then added, every single rep, every single play, I try to go 100% as hard as I can, and that's why I can hang my hat and say I gave the game everything I had, and the game gave it back to me, which is absolutely fair enough. What did you guys make of Sanders' career? Give us your thoughts below. Some contract extension news for the Bills now. Now, stay with us. Tight end Dawson Knox has signed a new deal in Buffalo. Fans of the Bills will be delighted to learn that one of Josh Allen's favorite collaborators was able to hash out an agreement with the team's hierarchy earlier this week, putting pen to paper on a $53.6 million deal, with $31 million guaranteed. The mammoth new contract makes Knox one of the best-paid tight ends in the league, and he was in a jubilant mood earlier this week as he spoke of how excited he was with the news. Going on to thank all involved. He said, I mean, I love the city of Buffalo. It couldn't be a better football city. I fell in love with the fans, with just the culture here. So I knew I wanted to be here for as long as I possibly could be. I couldn't be more excited to lock this deal in. Of course, the multi-million dollar contract has nothing to do with him wanting to sign on again. But the Bills will be delighted to tie him down to a new deal, given his career-high stats last time out. He finished up with 49 catches for 587 yards, nine touchdowns, and 31 first down receptions, which wasn't too shabby at all. And offensive coordinator Ken Dorsey also seems happy with the deal, giving Knox props as someone who works his tail off. What are your thoughts on Knox's new deal? Next up, we're looking at the Bills' chances this season. Many bookmakers, as well as fans and commentators, have the Buffalo Bills down as Super Bowl favorites this season, which given the fact that they have never actually won the Vince Lombardi Trophy, might come as something of a shock. The Bills have been accused for years of underperforming and after
after the calamity of the early 90s when they appeared in four consecutive Super Bowls without winning it. Some have said that 2023 is definitely going to be their year. Of course, there are no definites in the NFL, but with the Bills coming into the season as a plus 600 betting favorite, expectations will be high when Thursday rolls around against the Rams. Many bookmakers view the Bills as the highest power rated team going into the new season and have suggested that the fact that they don't play in the rougher AFC West League, where teams are largely expected to beat the heck out of each other, could put them in a promising position later in the season. One prominent sportsbook VP, Craig Mucklow, even suggested that the Bills are almost a certain lock for the playoffs and the clear frontrunner for home field in January. Outside of the Bills, there is a little action on the Kansas City Chiefs, the LA Chargers, and the Denver Broncos, but the New York outfit are being heavily tipped for a successful season. Who is your pick? Jim Trotter has also had his say on the Bills' chances this year. Stay with us. As a respected NFL writer and analyst, when Jim Trotter makes a prediction, people tend to take notice. Of course, by tipping the Bills to finally break their Super Bowl duck, he's not exactly going out on a limb, but he believes the difference come February could be one Josh Allen. The QB heads into his fifth season with the Bills and the fans in upstate New York are hoping, possibly expecting big things this time out. Trotter points to the fact that 17 of the last 19 Super Bowl winners have been led by QBs who are either in the Hall of Fame or who are a lock to eventually end up there, which is where Trotter believes Allen's talents come in. Over the course of his 61 professional games in the NFL, he has managed more than 14,000 yards, whilst also landing 103 touchdown passes. This isn't a bad record by anybody's standards, so the Buffalo natives are right to be excited about the season ahead. Trotter also pointed out that Allen is no slouch with his running either, having gained 2,325 yards as well as 31 touchdowns in that time. Trotter went on to predict, my belief is that they will take on and defeat the Philadelphia Eagles in the championship game with the edge being the quarterback position. What do you guys make of his comments? Let us know below. And finally, Josh Allen's hype video has gone viral this week. As Allen and the rest of the Bills roster prepare for their season opener against the Rams Thursday, the 2018 number seven pick has posted a hype video to his Instagram page, which has of course gone viral. Allen is clearly ready to get going, posting the video earlier this week alongside a caption which read, season five, week one, go Bills. Of course, the video showcases clips from the Bills' 2022 season, including a few of Allen's own highlights, and, as you might imagine, evoked quite the response in the comments section. Allen's long-term girlfriend simply left a few fire emojis in support of her man, whilst other fans predicted that Allen's upcoming season will see him crown the league's MVP. And speaking about his preparations this week, Allen revealed to the media that it will be interesting for sure to come up against the defending champion champs in game week one, before adding, I've talked to a few people who have played and coached in this game before, and just really the unanimous thing that they were talking about was it feels like playoff atmosphere. So we gotta understand that going in, not get too high, not get too low, understand the flow of the game, and just try to put our best foot forward. Give us your predictions for the game below. As usual, thanks for dropping in today, and remember to swing by again next time for some more fun reveals. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye, guys.